And we are starting with breaking news tonight. A federal judge in Louisiana has blocked President Joe Biden's plan to lift Title 42 restrictions next Monday. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Andy Morgan. And I'm Natasha Paloma. We first broke this story on KTSM.com. The judge's move means migrants will not have a chance to request asylum under grounds of preventing the spread of COVID-19. And KTSM has team coverage for you tonight. We're going to start off with Shelby Cap, who is live at the U.S.-Mexico border. And Shelby, what did the El Paso County judge, what do you have to say about Title 42 staying in place? Yeah, well, Natasia, El Paso County Judge Ricardo Salmon Diego telling me that El Paso needs to be prepared. He says he doesn't look at Title 42 as something that's going to be permanent, but he does say that El Paso is already seeing about 1,500 apprehensions a day, and he did say that if a Title 42 was to be lifted, that El Paso could see around 3,000 to up to 4,000. We have to expect that Title 42 will, will, will be lifted some way, somehow. The, the, the issue we have now is that not having, and let's say people ask me, do you want it to be lifted? Well, it doesn't matter because if we don't lift it, they're accumulating at the border anyway. The president for the National Border Patrol Council saying that even though Title 42 is in place, the border is still experiencing a record number of crossings, explaining that some exceptions are being made by the administration for people from certain countries when it comes to who is being expelled under Title 42. They are making exceptions, and, and even though this judge made this ruling, they can still make those exceptions. And Tomorrow, they could decide that, well, we're going to exempt Guatemala, El Salvador, and Honduras as well. As for the emergency declaration that the county judge said that he and the mayor were looking to issue to get funding from FEMA to help with an increase in migrants coming across the border, County Judge Ricardo Samaniego did tell me that even before the judge's ruling that he would propose it's not passed now after he was told that El Paso actually cannot get more funding from it.